a UFC welterweight division matchup. Always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at his A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. See, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You watch the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Perth, Australia, Jack Della. And now introduces his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Shavkat Nomad Rothmanov. And with the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, straight right. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Big off the punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Working inside the closed guard now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. 
We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish. And this might just be a matter of time. Right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. He doesn't know you have a whole all right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best five-minute stretch of his UFC career. Oh, absolutely the best five minutes he has ever had. He didn't like that left hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee to the body! Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Double leg. Stuffed. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Right hand on point. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And they separate. Big kick land. And just misses with that big right hand. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Oh, he's got him hurt here. That will land a clinch. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Starting to find himself oh. in the pocket. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Big butt lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Back to the feet. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. And attack an armbar. Oh, high amplitude slam there. Beautiful job defensively to fend off the armbar and slam his opponent to the canvas. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. So the fighter was 
submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Final round, you ready? Go, Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Punches block. Immediately gets the underhook. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Wild attempt with the right hand there. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he's certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. He's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, big head kick. side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it. Yes. And he landed the right hand there. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt. He's been battered. He's been beat. And now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. Oh, nice job working hard. Perfect entry the there, right. and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed. Try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's going to take off bar here. He might get a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. What a fight. And to get the submission that late in the fight is most impressive because you're dealing with sweat and blood and fatigue and a lot of different elements that play out over a 15 or 25 minute fight. But his technique didn't suffer, right? A lot of fighters, when they get fatigued, maybe the technique suffers a little bit. Not the case with this fighter here tonight. Locked it in and forced his opponent out of the fight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliotta is going to stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 58 seconds of round number 3. He's going the winner by tap out, Shaka! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission, and they put so much stock into